Okay, so apparently Kenwood is going to announce at the Dayton Hamvention Show the new Kenwood THD-75A. And uh, thanks to Eric at Ham Radio Concepts, we have the picture you see on the right of the D-75A, the brochure apparently that's at the show. So I wanted to give a thanks out to him for putting that out there. Now, real quick, let's go over the features of the D-74 as it stands now, and then we'll talk about, from what we see from this brochure, um, what are going to be some of the new features of the D-75A. So the D-74 has D-Star, has DV fast mode data mode, uh, easy updated repeater lists. It has the Kenwood sound, which is uh, well known. Uh, it has APRS has APRS, APRS messaging, QSY functionality. The D74 has a KISS mode TNC, has wideband and multi-mode HF, it can receive HF, built-in IF receiving filter, IF output mode for PC, um, high-performance DSP voice processing, has a built-in GPS, has a micro SD card slot for memory, it has tough weatherproofing, IP54 and 55 standards. It has a TFT transflective liquid crystal display color, 1,000 memory channels, 1,500 repeater lists, which is updatable via micro USD or Bluetooth. It also has weather alert and receive, which I'm sure is probably for the US only. It has voice guidance, it has communication log with the micro SD card, Direct frequency input on the keyboard. Always nice, as some radios now, you can't do that. Customizable power on message and bitmap image. In other words, you can customize the power on message and you can change the image. Has auto repeat repeater shift, waypoint output, programmable function key, inherent Kenwood sound, and other station positional information displayed. So I think many hams would agree the Kenwood THD-74 was ahead of its time. It was probably the Cadillac of radios and uh, greatly missed when they stopped making it. Um, I would say when I first got on D-Star a few years ago, it was probably one of the most popular D-Star radios I would hear on the air. And everyone I heard pretty much said the D-74 had awesome auto quality. Uh, your, your transmit audio was just excellent on this radio and everyone usually got compliments it was a very popular radio, and then we had the uh, the chip shortage. And from my understanding, through the rumor mill, rumor mill, um, this is the reason Kenwood had to stop making the D seventy four because they could no longer get the chip for it. So my question was: Is once they well, my first question was: Was Kenwood going to replace the D seventy four, such a popular radio of theirs, and probably the Cadillac of all HTs? Um, and us. I'm sure opinions will vary on that, but uh, I think a lot of hands will agree is probably the Cadillac HT uh, of its time and still is, has many features many other radios don't have, but it's just an all-around awesome radio. I like it very much because I do have the ability to receive HF on it. It does have the DSP. It does have the IF uh, receiving filters on it. So just awesome that I could basically take this in the woods, put an antenna in a tree, and receive a uh, sideband or HF on this radio. I don't have any other HT that's capable of doing that, so pretty awesome. So with that said, and just looking at the brochure because that's all we have at this point, I'm sure more information will come out. The differences, so the D75, if you look at them, they look very, very similar to each other. The D74 and D75, the layout of the key structure, the screen, everything looks very similar. But a couple highlights I've noticed on the D75, it has dual receive for D-Star, it also has reflector terminal mode access to D-Star reflectors. And it also has USB Type-C, which I'm sure a lot of hands are going to be really, really excited about. Not only for data transfer, because you did have a, a USB for the D74, um, but you also have it for charging. So really awesome that you can also charge the new D75 with USB, because it's so easy to charge with USB over having to have a docking station and, and plugging it in and all this kind of stuff. So really excited to hear more about the D75 in the future here. Um, but at this point, this is all we know. I'm sure more information will come out during the uh, Dayton Hamvention, which we're looking forward to. 
Hopefully, Kenwood will be releasing some more um, radios besides the D75A. But so far, I'm pretty impressed. But when I first looked at it, I got to tell you guys, it looked very, very similar uh, as far as layout to the D74. So I was actually wondering in the back of my mind, is this is just a revamped D74 that they're now selling as D75 that they had to reconfigure because they just didn't have the chips? So anyway, we'll see you guys. Thanks for joining for another video and hope this was helpful. Take care.